<laughs> okay, sorry. I'm just going a little crazy. Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. Today I am doing a little chit chat get ready with me, which I'm so excited for because I feel like I haven't sat down and talked to you guys in a really long time, which I know that's like YouTuber things. I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any questions, so I'm just gonna be going through. I also want to start off this video by giving a huge shout out and thank you to Sephora Collection for sponsoring this video. You guys know I've been working with Sephora Collection for a long time and I am a huge fan of all their products and you will be seeing a little bit more about that today. Let's just get into it. Uh, I'm gonna clip my hair back. I've been getting ready a little more since I've moved home just because like I have the time to and it gives me a lot of creative freedom, expression, whatever with like my outfits and my clothes which has been really fun. You guys know I'm not usually one to put on a full full face of makeup but I've been doing it a little more recently just for funsies. But the main thing that I'm so excited to be talking to you guys about today is Sephora Collection's new Best Skin Ever Foundation. This is what it looks like. This is what I'm going to be starting off my makeup with. Especially with masks and stuff, I don't want to have a really like full face and I don't want to feel cakey or just in general. But this foundation I'm absolutely in love with because not only is it full coverage, it's super lightweight so I can't even feel it on my skin. It is infused with amazing skincare benefits. So not only are you like looking more covered but it's doing great things for your skin. It's not like clogging your pores which I absolutely love because I do have really sensitive skin. My skin's also really dry so I don't like having sorry I'm just talking this whole time I'm gonna start applying it I'm mixing like two colors though I have really dry skin I also have really sensitive skin so I don't want to like mess with it I'm also using the Sephora collection match brush for full coverage this foundation only $20 which is amazing considering how great quality it is sorry I just look silly now okay I don't know if this is growing <laughs> like this. so uh I have a mirror like all the way over here but I'm also like partially blind so this stuff has hyaluronic acid in it which I'm not <laughs> I don't know that much about skincare but I know it's good for keeping your skin moisturized which I need especially during the winter I also really like that Sephora collection as a whole is doing a lot to improve sustainability which is a goal of mine for 2021 and something I'm just trying to be more conscious of and work on these bottles are actually like this really nice glass so they're really great quality but not only that they are 30% recyclable glass and along with that Sephora collection just goes to show that you don't have to sacrifice any quality for amazing product that was my whole little spiel about that Ooh, looking nice Ooh. okay first question from Alexis hi Alexis she said how being back in Seattle from California honestly I don't know what it is but the days have been passing so crazy fast probably just because I was cleaning for a good portion of the beginning and then I was doing like Christmas stuff and like catching up with friends so it's been a good mix but the days are just been going by really fast i think part of that is because i sleep a lot more here than i did in california I'm just a lot dimmer outside it's like the sun doesn't even rise so of course the gloomy weather makes me a lot more um sleepy i don't know i just sleep for a really long time before i talk too much i'm gonna be using sephora's acne treatment concealer this has been a long time favorite of mine this one has i get all my acids mixed up which <laughs> all my acids but i get salicylic and hydro hy hydro hydro acid mixed up which is bad because those are very different items i need a mirror well salicylic acid is good for treating like your acne and this is an acne treatment concealer so i love using this anywhere i'm struggling a little bit which right now is right above my eyebrows my nose a little bit honestly like always my chin when is your merch releasing okay i know i dropped that on you guys i was like hey, I have merch. then i just like never said anything else about it because i was trying to keep it on the dl but it should be releasing soon stay around on instagram for updates and here of course a lot of people asked for some new year's resolutions i'm also using sephora brow shaper pencil i love this because it's waterproof it's also very triangular base it helps me do my brows in literally two seconds I was in school or like running late to a lot of things i would just bring this and do it in the car because it was so fast and easy what was the question new year's resolutions okay here's the thing okay usually i would always be one to make a huge fuss about new year's resolutions not that i believe like a new year means a new me or anything like that because i really don't i just think it's a date but like anything that will motivate you change yourself for the better and whatnot i'm all for that but this year i was just so like busy with moving and stuff i didn't really think about it i also didn't want to make things of course i believe like mental changes are great but it's super hard to measure and just for myself i'm not great at keeping myself accountable my 
my main thing right now I just want to read more and I'm hoping to do like I know like one book a month <laughs> just doesn't sound like a lot but I'm hoping to do like one educational book a month whether that's like self-help or like I don't know biographies anything like that um that and then I'm hopefully well I've been reading more like leisure books for my own enjoyment on the side as well which I think has been great take my screen time down a notch what do you plan on doing in the future okay so everything is just so uncertain right now but it's pretty much certain that I'm not going to be going on campus for the next semester just because my school hasn't really announced stuff and for me it's kind of hard to plan that out and either way I don't think there would be like classes or anything I'm just gonna stay home maybe work uh do YouTube for sure I think it'll be good because I'll be able to settle here and you know be more active and I like being here I love my room at home now that I settled in and stuff and just spending time with my family because in my mind there's not going to be a lot of time in the future that I can just stay home with my parents after this that's all I got for right now something you don't miss about Cali that's really hard I don't miss um, okay, I don't think about things that I like don't miss there. I think about things that here I'm like, oh, I like that so much. Like here I'm like, oh, I love my bed here. There I was just like, I'm sleeping. It's a, it's a bed. Well, this doesn't have to do with California, but I just, I love having a car here. The water there tastes bad in my opinion. Maybe I'm just a water snob. Someone said a fashion trend I don't like. I can't believe I'm, I do this every single get ready with any video. I'm like, I can't believe I talked for 20 minutes and I haven't even done anything. At least my skin looks good. <laughs> but um, a fashion trend I don't like. Easy peasy low-rise jeans that that's a trend right right i kind of keep up with stuff but i also kind of don't um they just make me so insecure and uncomfortable i just really cannot do it if you like them if they make you comfortable all for it you go you probably look great in them i just cannot for the life of me they're so uncomfortable biggest fear my parents are getting alzheimer's um i'm really afraid of tsunamis uh, getting kidnapped oh frick i just like scrunched my eyebrow and then i missed what's on your bucket list kind of random the first thing coming to mind right now is going on a hot air balloon oh going skydiving those are pretty realistic ones um what are some far-fetched ones i don't know have a clothing line maybe oh my gosh this is the worst eyebrow <laughs> i missed so many times a lot of people ask me on tips to stay motivated and happy which i get a lot of comments on also just like in general for starters thank you that's a huge compliment i don't know if that's the first thing i would use to describe myself like i don't think i'm exponentially <laughs> i don't think i'm an exceptionally like positive person all i think it's a lot easier for me to show that side on social media just because i can't stop myself or i mean i guess i could if i i try really really hard it's hard to stop yourself from thinking negative things but i can obviously have more control over what i post but just in general naturally i'm i would just say like i am a very self-motivated person but something that that helps with that a lot is who you surround yourself with so if you're surrounded by other people who are like tearing you down not making you feel good about yourself or who are also like not super self-motivated or kind of confused in the direction they're going that will definitely rub off on you other things you can do for yourself to stay motivated and happy i love vision boards pinterest vision boards love that shit oh someone asked are you gonna do a p.o box video i did want to shout this out in a video that i did just start a p.o box recently which i'm very new to but i think it's very exciting i will write back to you if you write to me so write to me i didn't know people do videos on that but i would so be down to do that like a p.o little unboxing thing i think that'd be so fun pro tip or just something i've been enjoying is doing my eyeliner with a really dark eyeshadow and a really fine angled brush for me it just makes it so much easier for some reason than when i would do it with a felt tip liner i don't know why it's so much quicker it always turns out better someone asked have you ever struggled with being insecure about your looks body etc how do you improve your self-esteem to be completely honest with you guys um whoa, my voice just cracked a little there that's something i've been struggling a lot with for the past couple of years i mean i think i always struggled with it and i think everyone is insecure about their appearance but it was something that got really bad in the past couple of years and i will say it's gotten better but of course there's good days and bad days i've been trying to film a video about it but i just keep like low-key chickening out or i don't know it's just really scary to talk about that's something i'm working on but my best advice i think something that's made a big difference for me is just social media tiktok for example media used to be filled with like very toxic stuff diet culture but recently i've been more conscious of that and trying to feed myself like youtube videos for example i've been 
watching like Jen M, Linda Sun. They talk about like body positivity, stuff like that. Sienna on TikTok. Watch stuff like that. Someone asked, do you ever want to move out of the US? That is just so far in the future and I'm just so bad about thinking that far in advance. But honestly, I would be very open to that. I want to live in a lot of different places that include different countries in my lifetime, even if it's just for like a year or half a year. Biggest regret. Okay, I'm usually one to say like, well, I don't have any regrets. Like everything happens for a reason. And while I do solidly believe that, I will say the regrets are the things that I didn't do, which I can't like, sure my life would be different, but I don't see how it could be different in like a negative life. In my mind, I'm like, yeah, I wish I studied abroad in high school. I wish I was like a foreign exchange student. Dang, I wish I started a small business in the beginning of quarantine or even like a couple years ago or something. Haha, <laughs> favorite thing from Trader Joe's. Dude, you cannot make me choose just one. I just can't do that. But if I had to, no, I'm gonna name at least five. I'm grouping all of their seasonings together because that's just like the mushroom one, the chili lime one, all their seasonings, their frozen mango in specific curly cues or something. It was a lote chips, all of their popcorn, the white truffle one, the like olive oil herb, something like that. So good. Ooh, I like their dark chocolate. Honestly, all of their chocolate is so good. I could just ramble on and on about Trader Joe's. I actually need to go there. All their frozen food. Okay, I'm done. Their coconut, oh, their coconut smoothie. Ooh, what was your favorite thing that you got for Christmas? That's so hard. I love everything that I got so much. I just realized my posture sucks. Baby, oh. I really love the earrings my friend Iris made me because she made them. They're so cute and she started me on my like polymer clay obsession. That was really tough though. I like everything. Do you want kids? Of course I want kids. Guys, I think I'm almost done. Now I'm just using my Sephora lip gloss and this is in the shade. I literally almost said the shade one flew down. I think it's 120. I don't know if it was a name. Using this baddie. Hmm. I was gonna do more face skin stuff, but then I'm like, I'm gonna wear a mask. I don't need to highlight. That's all gonna be covered. Which I guess I'm like, why am I wearing lip gloss? But I, I'm gonna obviously take some selfies, so. Okay, well. Okay, so I'm gonna do my hair because I'm gonna try something fun today. Guys, I'm obsessed with my hair. It's like an hour later. Look, look, they're like little bubbles. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun getting ready and ch chatting it up with you. Once again, huge thank you to Sephora Collection for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out their new Best Skin Ever foundation. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Love you. I know you want to leave, so come on, baby, be with me so happily.